call me crazy, but I don't think this is how you're supposed to load bales. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got new mods for you today. We've got just an auto loading nightmare. <laughs> We've got all kinds of stuff for PC, and we've got some updates as well for everybody. Plus, the Sim Track is now officially available for console players. Plus, we've got a couple Seasons Geo and map updates. Let's check it out. First up today, let's talk about the Sim Track. So, with this, this is a fully automated docking, futuristic, awesome tractor with elephant trunk on it front. <laughs> It's so cool. Uh, I haven't changed the color any, but you can change so much stuff. You can put step, different attachments on the back. You can put three points on the front. You can put these huge loaders on the front, spreaders on the back. This thing's just awesome. So where are you gonna find this? Well, a lot of the parts are separated all over the place. So I highly recommend if you just wanna see all the parts available for the Centrac only, what you need to do is go into brands and go to Centrac. Here, you will find everything that you need now first, we're going to start with the tractor itself. The Centrac pre-production tractor, boom, right there. We get a couple options as far as color goes. For rim color, this can be anything you would like. However, the three main colors, the uh, the reddish orange, the bl almost bluish purple, deep gray, and then we've got an orange as well. I haven't done much with the orange, so we're going to customize this one with orange. Main color, you could change between those three colors. We're going to go with the orange there as well. And design color, again, with the orange and everything, but you're still going to get this uh, that blue-purple uh, gray look right there. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, you know what? Let's go main color. Let's stick that to the purple. Let's see what that looks like. Not too bad, not too shabby. It's a nice looking vehicle right there. As far as configuration goes, we have default. We have standard adapter A. We have standard adapter B and C, and then back to normal again. But you can see, if there's no wheels on it, where'd the wheels go? Well, if you've got the standard adapter A, B, or C out there, let's just stick with A for now. Wheel brand, of course, Nokian or Michelin, but wheel setup. Wheel setup's where it all changes. Right now we have the narrow two by two. You can do the broad wheel two by two, narrow two by three, and the broad two by three. This is where it gets cool. Now, the interesting part is, at least how I play it right now, you can take away the standard adapter with those. So that's kind of odd that you can buy it like that. It'll work. It's, it's, it's interesting, but it'll work nonetheless. But I highly recommend just do it the right way. Just do it the right way. Michelin. Uh, let's see. Of course, in Nokians as well, you could do that too. Plus, instead of doing broad wheels, you get chains, snow chains on there. So that's kind of neat. I like that. That's awesome. As far as engine setup is concerned, we've got two different engines here. We have the 60 kilometer per hour option and we have the 80 kilometer per hour option. So a little bit faster, which is always good. Now, once we get past that, we've got quite a few attachments. This right here is going to be just your normal attacher. These all will work on the front or the back, so just keep that in mind as well. Design color again, main color, change whatever you'd like. Design here, you do panels, all kinds of good stuff. I'll show you how to attach those. Here we have the support adapter. Now, I will be completely honest with you, this is one of the adapters where I've still had a bit of an issue trying to figure out exactly what goes on here. Uh, but I do know, at least on the front, with the support adapter, we could do the wheel loader and telehandler attachment on the front. So that is kind of nice, mainly for doing um, pallets and that kind of thing. And if you've got the support adapter on there, that gives you the option to come in here and use this, or you can use this with a three-point. Either way, this is going to be your weight. So design color can be anything, and main color can be anything. So this could be used with multiple different things. Configuration, 800 kilogram weight. And then it starts adding weight on 1100, 1400, 2000, 26, and finally 3000 kilograms worth of weights. That is a heavy, heavy weight right there. Man, oh man. 
and we also get the elephant loader. Now with the elephant loader, this is a little more expensive, $33,000. However, it does work. Boom, let's click that. Again, design color, choose between the three main and main color. You can choose between the three main colors as well. Because when the more and more I see it, the more and more I like the main color that it gives you. So I just stick with that. Design, we have none and you can put the cover on there as well. I think the cover does look really good. Keeps it from looking so mechanical, but eh, I like it without. And attachments, we have the wheel loader attachment and the telehandler attachment. So depending on what type of things you wanna be using, there you go, either telehandler or wheel loader. Tell you what, you get bigger buckets with wheel loader. So if you're planning on using this as a bucket, hey, why not use the wheel loader attachment? And finally, we have the Centrac Fertilizer S. This is a solid fertilizer spreader or lime spreader, 3,600 liters, 24 meters at 12 miles per hour. Let's check it out. This is also another regular attachment, so it will attach up. Main color, again, those and design color. Now with design color, we have a couple different options here for design color. Let's go in, let's see, prototype. We'll go in to the design, and this is going to change the top. So of course there's that. You can go with a nice purple, or you can go with that dark again, or you can stick with the white. I think the white looks pretty good, but depending on what you're using there, maybe you have one for solid fertilizer, one for lime. The one with the white on top could be the lime, your solid fertilizer could be the darker color. Now, as far as the attachments go, it's kind of interesting. Let's jump in just to this one. Right now, I have the solid fertilizer on the back, and on the front, I have the elephant loader. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to detach from the back. What that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up right there, and then I'm going to detach the front, the elephant loader. Now with this one, you do wanna kinda of be careful about how you unload it. Let's see, let's put it right there. And then just simply back away. Now you can see, we've still got covers on the front. So how does that work exactly? Well, you just simply pull up to it and attach, and it will manually attach that for you. Again, to the back, same thing there. Let's say, you know, DJ, maybe I want that elephant loader on the back, okay? attach it from that side let's spin the entire thing around we do have all-wheel steering so this thing can get in and out of all kinds of places uh, so the elephant loader can't go in the back interesting all right what about this on the front yep so it appears that the loader cannot go on the back however that fertilizer spreader can go on the front now, of course, there are other options here. We're gonna jump out of there. I have the normal three-point attachment on here. Now, this can go on the front or the back again. But I seem to like it on the front. I like having a front three-point link. There we go, drop that off. So now, this is just the standard six-wheel version. We've got the three-point in the back, but maybe I want that in the front as well. Simply pull forward, boom, grab a hold. Now, we've got three-point in the front as well. In a nutshell, that right there is your Centrac. So let me know down in the comment section below, will you be using the Centrac or are you going to let this mod kind of pass by? Maybe it's just a little too confusing, maybe it's a little too modern, futuristic, or maybe it's something else. Let me know. Next up, we've got this guy right here. This is the auto loading bell forks and it'll do square bells. You may have seen the beginning of this. This is interesting. This is real interesting. So if you're just using it normally, yes, it will work just fine as a pair of bell forks. However, it has an interesting trick to it. It will auto load set bells. So let's go up. Let's go ahead and take, uh, you know what? Let's get these bells situated. Let's get them spread out here. So let's put one there and let's put this one right here. Perfect. So now we've got three different sets of bells. Let's go down into operating position and we're just gonna drive forward. Boom, boom, boom. All right, hey, we got three bells auto loaded. Check that out. Now, maybe I wanna unload the bells. So let's go ahead and unload the bells right there. Perfect. But <laughs> not, uh, not so fast because they're still there, yeah. There's always one, whichever bell was on the bottom, it, well, it kind of wigs out and it thinks that maybe it should always be there because it misses you. 
So it will always be there no matter what you do. And if you sell the baler, or sell the bell fork, the bells will be bricked. Because the same thing happened here. I can't pick these up, I can't move them, I can't auto load them. They exist, but only in our memories and in our visual memories, which are still here. Again, like you saw before, I could try to get away from this bale. I can leave it sitting, but I can only get so far until I try to pick it up and it comes right back. So this is a problem. Uh, maybe this is just me having this issue as well, and I hope that it is. Uh, but uh, uh, this this is a problem. Uh, this, this is a big problem. Uh, I normally end up like this anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, but you guys who actually want to play and, and enjoy this and be like, Yo, I've been waiting for something like this. This is perfect for me. Just, just be aware, that's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna go any further into detail. This is in front loaders, if you're curious. As far as new mods for console and PC together, all platforms go, that is it. However, there are a couple extra mods, new mods for PC, plus some updates. We're gonna check those out right now. This right here is the Ponzi Buffalo Clam Bunk. We do have a changelog 1.0.1, added support for multiplayer, and fixed an issue where the front back joint would quote unquote collapse so we don't want that so make sure you update this you'll be able to play with your friends and you'll be able to use this all in due time that is awesome i really like this mod somebody was talking uh saying yesterday that this, this was uh they thought this or not this mod in particular but the the one the duel that we got yesterday thought that that was better than the john deere just let you know it's the same modder for all of them <laughs> we'll probably see the john deere one very very soon at least my assumption is so we've also got an update to the tractor triangle pack changelog 1.1.0.1 fixed collision bugs stop builder revised lizard 400 kilogram weight revised the normal map adapter for the tug triangle and the john deere weight got a color choice so now with a John Deere weight, you don't need John Deere green. Hey, if you got John Deere but don't like the green, you don't have to do green anymore. You can also do black. <laughs> you got one color option there. So there you go. That is your update for the triangle pack. We got another update for you. The Flegel Silo Shovel Grab or Silo Grab Shovel. Change log 1.1 on this guy right here. Color choice added. So instead of using red tines at the bottom, those can now be black. Also, the specular has been revised and the materials have been sorted. So. If you're using this for anything, make sure that you update. Next, we have a new mod for PC. This is the Yanmar C30R 2B. This is extremely unique, but we could do a couple things with it in game. First, oh man, is this thing slow. It is slow as Dickens. Five, no, sorry, I can't, it's so funny. Five miles per hour, man. Five miles per hour, but it's kind of the way it is. It is tracked. It says it can go up an incline up to 30 degrees, so maybe 90. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll go straight up. Couple interesting things about this. First, we can unfold the sides so you can put things in there. We have fastening belts. We can do that. Also, this will hold things. This has a capacity in it, which means that we can dump things, which is even better. So whatever you want to put in there, go for it. Also. We could do a couple other things such as changing the driving direction. So now, whatever direction I want to drive, forwards is whichever way I am facing, which is all right. Look at dude's hand right now, it's all, all messed up. <laughs> but nonetheless, there you go. There is the Yanmar C30R2B. There's not a whole lot much other to it than this. This is, it's just a cool little tractor, isn't it? We've also got an update to the PLN 635 plow, changelog 1.0.0.2, new store and icon. There you go. There's your update for that. Let me know if you're using this mod. We've got a brand new Seasons Geo for you. This is Seasons Geo Oregon, which will work perfect with Lone Oak Farm. In Oregon, the summers are warm and dry, while the winters are cold and wet. It remains pretty cloudy here for much of the year. The Geo will be good to use with maps like Lone Oak Farm. And we've got a brand new one, Geo Saxony Hills. Saxony Hills has long winters 
and therefore later sowing and harvesting times. Plan well to get the highest possible yield. Also, as with any Seasons Geo, the latest version of Seasons is required. And for all platforms, we've got an update to Presmus Hour. Changelog 1.1.1.0 added support for Seasons. Traffic blockade at the railroad crossing has been removed. MIP maps have been added to the minimap. Increased throughput and capacity of farm silos. BGA bandwidth increased. The distance at which the railroad crossings close is reduced. And the farm lamp has been removed. So MIP maps. What is that? I'm trying to look at it. I'm having a hard time figuring out what a MIP map is. You guys know what that is? I'm trying to figure that out. Nonetheless, I think... Oh, well, maybe it's not that... Dude, I'm not quite sure. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think a MIP map is. I'm not really sure about that. Let's see. Nonetheless, this map has come a long way since it uh, came to us. A lot of big square fields. It's a really nice map. Let me know if you guys are going to be playing on this or not. And we've got a new map, brand new map for PC players only. This is Geiselberg. This is a German map. And to give you guys an idea, because it doesn't say much about the map, this map itself is more of a field and logging. And I say that because check out the mini map. There's a whole lot of trees. So, and there's a lot of roads between these trees. So you can get in here and really get some good logging done. Also, I don't think this is a 4X map. However, I will say this map is absolutely massive. So it may very well be. If you know if it is or not, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm having a hard time deciphering whether it is or not. But nonetheless, this is a huge, huge map. Beautiful, lots of fields. I believe it was at 54, 60, 61 fields, is that right? Is that all up? 63? I think that's everything. 63 fields. Man, that's a whole lot of fields right there. 63 total. Uh, we start with very little, however. We only start with a small patch of land that we can do a little bit of logging on. We get our main farm and we get one field, field 45. Let's jump down on the ground and let's take a look. As far as equipment goes, we have the Fent 313, the Massey 5613, Fent Favorite 515. We get the New Holland TX32 and then some smaller implements. So this is kind of interesting. However, some of the areas around are very, very nice. I must say, custom buildings, it's just a really cool farm. I really like this. I may do something with this. We shall see. But nonetheless, there is Geiselberg. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. And all right, please subscribe. If you have any questions about any of these mods, let me know down in the comment section below. That's the best way to get a hold of me for questions. But all being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.